I wanted to show you how we solve the issue of having discombobulated campaign naming conventions for your ad accounts. So if you manage multiple ad accounts, certainly if you're in an agency context, you've run into this challenge of campaign naming conventions just differ over time as different teams manage the account and have different you know, convention structures. So it ends up being really difficult to properly report by campaign type. So if you wanted to break down your spend and conversions by you know, branded, non-branded, shopping or display, or certainly different types of you know, Facebook ads, prospecting, retargeting, or retention ads. Um, that just becomes really difficult if you don't have some type of hierarchical, organized, um, and simple structure for applying these types of mappings. You end up with you know, huge uh, spreadsheet formulas uh, you know, and difficult to document hierarchical structures for campaign type tagging. Um, so basically how we solve this problem is we have a Google Sheets tracking plan that contains all of our mappings across all of our sites. So we simply say here, if, you know, basically a simple regex of if a campaign name contains GDN or retargeting or display, let's call it a display campaign for this specific, for CI file, for this site. And you can have a similar set of, of campaign type mappings for every site that you work with. You could break these down by platform, right? So these could be Google ads and this could be Facebook ads, etc. You can get as complex as you want here, but the, the what you end up with at the end of the day is one single place where in English, anyone on your team can modify um, these campaign type mappings uh, and set your hierarchy, right? How do you want these to be applied? Is brand first and non-brand, et cetera? Um, so basically what we do with this data in uh, our BigQuery pipelines is we pull this up to uh, a table in Google BigQuery and we set this to, you know, to push to BigQuery every single night. So this data is always refreshed, whatever your team enters here makes it up to BigQuery. Um, and then we just parse this into a table. Um, and ultimately, you don't need to know exactly what this code is doing necessarily, but ultimately we apply, you know, the mappings, the mapping logic in a loop. Right, so we loop through um, all of your mappings. We see which one matches, and then you know we apply that. Right, we apply that mapping to it and call that column campaign type. Um, and we do that for every campaign across you know every platform at once. So we have one place where we can set this logic. This will apply to Facebook ads, Google ads, Twitter ads, whatever platforms you're running, and however you set. Um, you know, this logic in the sheet. So this makes it extremely simple to manage. You don't have to manage any code. Um, this code will just apply whatever's in the sheet to your actual campaigns. Um, and the only thing that you need to do to update that is just update the sheet. Um, so this is a really scalable way that we've managed this kind of campaign type mapping and campaign naming convention. Uh, discombobulation that we often see in our accounts um, and we found it's a really uh, simple and you know kind of peace of mind giving process for it that uh, you know sets our our mind at ease and the the minds of the teams that we work with at ease um, so I don't have a specific template to share on this because this logic will be slightly different depending on how you set up your campaign type structure but if you have a specific um, you know, kind of campaign type naming convention that you want to apply, feel free to drop a comment here or ping me in the Codings for Losers Slack channel. Take care.